Hey guys, it's Brooke with Super Tutor TV, and today we're going to talk about my number one secret tip for the ACT math section. This tip is actually three parts. What I'm going to say is that you need to figure out what do I need to focus on the most within my own prep universe. And what I mean by that is not every student on the math section has the same issue. And in my general experience, there are three reasons why your ACT test score may not be awesome. And I'm going to go through those three potential reasons. And your job is to identify which one is you. The first way that you might be not reaching your goal is that you might not be moving fast enough, right? If you get to the end of the test and you absolutely don't have enough time to do those last five problems and you're just kind of guessing, that means you probably weren't moving fast enough at the beginning of the test. And you need to work on speed, right? So if speed is one of your issues, that's what you need to work on. The second area that you might need to work on if your ACT math score isn't awesome is pretty obvious. It's content, right? And content is the obvious thing. That means you just don't know how to do a specific kind of problem. Do you know SOHCAHTOA? Do you know the law of sines and the law of cosines? Do you know how to multiply matrices? And there may be skills on the ACT that you have forgotten or that your math teacher never even talked to you about. Maybe you never went over probability and statistics and you have no idea what a combination or a permutation is. And if that's the case, then those are the things that you need to work on. And the third thing that students often struggle with on the ACT math section is carelessness. Careless errors, my students say. I have a lot of students who think, oh my goodness, there's no way I can avoid careless errors. It's just carelessness and they just brush it off. That's not the right attitude to have. You have to find a way to stop making careless errors. You have to change the way that you go about doing problems in order to fix that careless errors issue. And sometimes I like to call careless errors process errors, not careless errors, because what they mean is that the way that you went about this problem did not ensure that you would get an awesome results. Um, and one of the other things that I have to say about careless errors is that you also want to always try to build in safety nets. That means you build in ways to double check your answer, ways to think about the problem so that you aren't making those mistakes. There is a way to do it. It doesn't mean we're all perfect. I'm not perfect. In fact, every test I've ever taken that I've gotten a perfect score on, I have made a mistake at some point in the process. I recognized that issue before I put an answer down. Every time I do a math section of a standardized test, I always reread the question right before the answer choices so that I don't make careless errors, so that I don't put the number of girls in the class instead of the number of boys in the class. So you need to come up with techniques and methods for avoiding those. Just to recap, the number one secret tip for the ACT math section when you're studying is to figure out what it is that you personally have issues with so that as you prepare, you can try to address that specific issue. I hope you liked this video. You can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and check out our website, supertutortv.com. We've got more blogs and more awesome ACT tips for you there. And I will see you all next time on Super Tutor TV. Bye-bye. And watch some more videos. Do that.